Yo, what's poppin' everyone? So never in my life did I think I'd want to be a John Carpenter style monster. Never. Not even once. But damn does Kyrian make playing as a being that looks like the love child of Flubber and Carnage from Spider-Man fun. So let me break down why you should play Kyrian though. Let's start off with the good. The atmosphere is insanely well crafted. Everything from the eerie music to the vivid and colorful 8-bit art style sets the mood for this horror site. You can tell that Phobia Game Studio is putting out a lot of love to the various environments of this game. There are only a few controls, yet Carrion feels super responsive and vivid. It's amazing how much control you have over this horrific creature. The game power-ups feel good and add cool mechanics to take down various enemies or solve the Metrovania style puzzles. The game doesn't overstay its welcome either. Carrion is a short experience that gets in, allows you to wreck some shit up, and get out. It knows what kind of game it is, and as long as you don't get lost, you should be able to beat the main quest in about 4 to 6 hours. For such a short game, there's a decent amount of variety when it comes to Carrion's puzzles. The puzzles can be tricky, but not overly hard. If you're paying attention to the power-ups, you should be able to mow past them. So no game's perfect, so let me run down the bad of this game. Uh, let's talk about the elephant in the room. It's the map. It's easy to get lost in this game. There's not a map system at all. To make matters worse, there aren't any nav points to tell you where to go next. While that helps with immersion, it is annoying as hell when you have to backtrack the areas continuously. It's easy not to know if you're going in the right direction or if you're just backtracking pointlessly. Next off is this game's lack of story. Here at Dope Nerd Games, we value story, and there's almost no narrative here at all. You're a monster, you escape, you wreak some havoc on anyone that stands in your way, and that's it. Nothing else but the gameplay is motivating you to continue forward. Also, in certain parts, the game makes you play as a human in order to solve puzzles to progress. On the surface, that's an intriguing concept and a cool way to switch things up, yet the execution was flawed. None of the puzzles feel like they're noteworthy, and ultimately they feel like they're added content for the sake of added content. Also, the controls for the human are very clunky and sluggish. Ultimately, despite all the flaws I listed, this game is a damn good time. It does what it set out to do, let you play as a weird monster and set out and dominate anything and everything that stands in your way. Carrion does most things extremely well, however its faults keep it from achieving all-time greatness. That said, this is a fun experience that I'd recommend to anyone that's a fan of this genre.